guys, welcome back. It's All Out Aesthetics, and we're going to talk about bulking today. Well, uh, we'll cover a few things in this video, like what um, foods you should eat, um, which way you should approach your bulk, whether you want to do a dirty bulk or a lean bulk, and um, if you should do if it fits your macros or the old-fashioned way. And what gives you uh, a lot of protein. Alright, so we'll start off with whether or not you should do a dirty bulk or a lean bulk. I personally, this off season, am doing a dirty bulk in a way. I'm kind of just eyeballing my food. I'm not doing if it fits your macros or anything. Because I have a high metabolism and I'm kind of young. Um, I'm not really gaining any, like a lot of fat. I'm, it's, I don't know, it's weird. It's kind of like a lean bulk in a way. Um, I personally think you should only do a dirty bulk if if you're a hard gainer like me, if you're an ectomorph. I wouldn't do it if um, you're somebody who who always can like easily gain weight no matter what you eat. I would definitely do a lean bulk because you're gonna get fat really quick. If you already if you're already overweight, just either like maintain that or do like a mini cut, like cut down to a single digit body fat. Then if you want to bulk, go ahead and do a lean bulk if you're someone that gains easily. Yeah, if it runs in the family that you're big, then... Um, um, but me and Levi, we're down. ectomorph, so we can kind of we can kind of eat whatever we want. I mean, it may not be as healthy, but for now, it's working. Um, for me, I eat a ton of fruit. And I, was, I grew up and I was eating a ton of fruit. And I still eat a ton of fruit. And I think that's just the best thing for you. And uh, you got those natural sugars, you got all that good stuff in there. Um, it's not, it's none of that sugar king, or high, cor uh, high course uh, uh, corn syrup or any of that stuff. It's that, it's that good natural sugars that are really good for you. And then, and then like when you get to like protein and stuff, like good stuff for you to eat is like uh, yogurt, uh, granola bars, um, drink a lot of milk, man. A lot of milk. I drink milk with, with my whey sometimes, and it's pretty good. Um, what else we got here? Um, yeah, like I said, if, you, if you're doing a lean bulk, I would look into, um, like, um, uh, lean beef or, like, chicken breast or fish. Like, tilapia is pretty good. Yeah. Or, um... Like, even ground turkey. I mean, it's not that bad. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of protein that you can get. And I think liquid I think liquid digests in your system like every uh, an hour and a half. And I think uh, solid foods take three hours. So you can fit your meals around those windows of uh, time when to eat. Yeah, exactly. I'm not for sure, but I think your body can only digest like... Um, 30, 30 to 40 grams of protein a meal. So anything that you're eating over that, I'm not sure if it turns into, it might turn into fat. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not I sure haven't done a ton either. of research on that, but um, I would space your meals out to that. So if you like, if you weigh like 150 pounds and you're trying to get like 150 grams of protein, just space them all out. Like, yeah, I don't know, maybe, like 35 grams of protein a meal right around there. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends when you uh, go to the gym and stuff. I mean, if you go in the gym in the morning, early morning, uh, you get, you're, you're already drinking your whey after, if you drink whey or whatever. You drink whey right after your workout, and then uh, then you're not hungry for maybe an hour or two. And then you get home, and then you eat and all that stuff. Uh, just like space it out, maybe like three hours, four hours, right? Uh, just stay constant. Uh, yeah, consistency is a real big thing on uh, on as far as diet, whether you're cutting or bulking goes. Yeah. If you're not consistent, uh, you're not going to get anywhere really. What else were we going to talk about? Uh, oh, if it fits your macros or if you're just eyeballing food. Um. If it fits your macros, is is pretty good because you, you can count you can count your macros. Um, but it's kind of a pain in the ass because it say you have to eat like 400 400 carbs for the day and like 150 grams of protein and like 70 or 60 fats or so. 
like in a way in a way it sucks because like at night if you have to hit like 10 grams uh between each um each thing you have to like find whatever just like laying around the house and just throw it together in like a meal but i don't know the more and more you do it you know the easier it gets i guess it's just the hassle of having to, to count count your macros when you go out to eat and stuff like what to eat um well what's your view on that me personally i wouldn't do if it fits your macros unless you're like cutting for a contest or if you're like really serious about doing a lean bulk but otherwise me i just eyeball my food personally. that's exactly what i do too it, it works good i'm putting it in my belly yeah and you're 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 your uh, own personal trainer pretty much just look at yourself in the mirror and if you if you look like you're gaining too much like around your stomach or something you know cut back a little bit. yeah cut back a little bit if you if you don't like the way you're looking but other than that i would just me personally i would eyeball my food eyeball my food i'm not gonna count my macros until like i do a show one day but yeah make sure to make sure to uh check your weight like before every workout and then check it after i mean it's not it's not that hard i mean just to see like where you're going and then when you the next day if you weigh a little more than than you want to be then just cut back on what you're eating and then you'll stay constant because right now i'm staying about let's see here i think i was 158 i want to be down around 155 and just gain muscle so uh I just cut down on some of my uh, food and uh, just stay constant with it. Just keep on washing my body. Yeah, it's as simple as that. It's all you gotta do. You wanna you wanna gain weight, you need to be in a caloric surplus. If you wanna lose weight, you need to be in a caloric deficit. That's it. That's it. That's all you gotta do is just eat less, eat more, eat the right foods. Um, what was I gonna say? What are we talking about? We're talking about if it fits your macros. Yeah. Oh yeah, and like good um good carb sources for um bulking and stuff. I would eat like sweet potatoes, oatmeal. Yeah. Um oatmeal is a good like slow digesting carb that I would, that's something that I would eat in the morning. Yeah, it fills you up. Um but like sweet potatoes, rice, stuff like that. Stay away from a lot of bread. That shit just turns to sugar. It's not good. Um, I mean, some sugar is good, but not a lot. If you eat a lot of bread, then you need to cut back on that. And as far as like proteins and stuff like that goes, we already covered that. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to eat greens, if you're not a big fan of greens, I would at least take like a multivitamin or something. Yeah, you, you need um, that. Otherwise, just trying trying to eat like smaller portions throughout each meal like if you have a big meal and you don't you know you don't uh, like greens as much try and space out your meals a little bit eat smaller portions but other than that I think that pretty much covers it right yeah that's about it on bulking um oh and I was gonna say like for a good lean bulk I'd say that gaining about like a pound to two and a half pounds a month is probably solid and if you're doing like a dirty bulk like maybe three to four pounds a month but you might even have to cut back on that depending on how much fat you really want to gain yeah um and like levi said just like weigh yourself weekly and you know have fun with it bulks are fun hey guys salt all out step <laughs>